Antoine possesses that rare gift of being able to harness what's in his mind and put it out there. And then having a creative team that can take those pieces and put them in the sauce. That is Antoine Fuqua, who designs, choreographs, and tells the story of action better than any, I think, filmmaker, director working these days. Denzel knows he's in great hands. He knows the movie's gonna look great. He knows it's going to be performed by all department heads up to a very high standard, because Antoine demands that, and Denzel demands that. But working with Denzel Washington, I mean, it's, it's an absolute dream, and they're an incredible team, and they've, they've known each other for so long. Antoine does have this quiet presence, and I just found myself sometimes in uh, really loud and chaotic situations, and I was trying to get in the zone, and he would just come over and put, you know, like an earpiece and have me listen to some music, you know, just to kind of concentrate a little bit more. Io mi chiamo Mina. Roberto. The second the action way. sequence in the alleyway, how he takes down more costly guns. The weapons from the bad guys. The violence in Equalizer 1, 2, and now 3 is something that Antoine and our writer Richard and Denzel and myself and my partner Jason are all very, very aware of. Robert Bacall kicks ass. <laughs> And throughout Equalizer 3, you do see a little bit of a different Robert McCall because the town has become the people that he loves. So he's a little less apologetic, let me put it that way. I will create the, the, the whole sequence, the structure first, and then team come together to chip in the idea to uh, fill in all the movements, hand the food. New style to me, and a big challenge. You don't look like you sound. You do. I remember working with him like it was yesterday. It has been almost 20 years and I was quite young, but that's not an experience that one forgets. She and my daughter went to school together. You know, they were at, both at NYU, so I, 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 I stayed in touch vicariously, if that's the right way of saying it. And she's obviously a great talent. Because she was bringing it. She knows how to hit the ball back over the net. You kill him? <laughs> I look like a guy who kills people. I'm warming to the possibility. <laughs> Too shit. Like it or not, you're a person of interest. I'm an interesting person. It was very interesting working with him again the second time. My body felt the same feeling that I remember feeling all of those years ago, which is excitement and a little bit of nerves and wanting to be as prepared as possible. When Dakota Fanning and Denzel came together for the first couple scenes that we were shooting, you could feel the energy there because of their history. He definitely is an actor that keeps you on your toes constantly and you are forced to be very present. He's known to add a different line in there or do something that's not in the script, so I was already prepared for that this time around. When Denzel did go off book, Dakota is so accomplished that she'll toss it back and they have this witty repartee going. It's some of the most fun scenes in the movie. For me, it's very different than the first two films. This equalizer is much more personal. So you get to sit and see the violence happen. If you don't trust the pilot, don't go. I trust the pilot. Just more violent, more bloody. McCall enjoys it. Getting to work with Denzel again and be in Italy is a dream come true. When I was looking up at that cross, I was like, how are we getting up there? You know, how y'all getting up there? In some escapist way, we try to give a possibility of redemption. It's magic, and that's why we go to the movies. Hope you enjoyed your behind-the-scenes look. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you here next time. Later.